Hey guys, this is Phyllis, your video lactation. It's very late where I am uh, right now. It's in the wee hours of the morning, um, but I'm up and I'm energized. And I want to share with you uh, one of my newest clients. Her name is Tina, and she decided to get sister locks. And uh, what you're about to see is her on her, um, during her consultation, she's explaining to you why she wanted to get the sister locks. Um, and Tina, uh, I want to say thank you, sweetheart, because you are truly a, a, a sweet spirit. <laughs> and she made me laugh. So you're going to enjoy this with Tina. Watch this. This is going to be part one of part two. Uh, the second video, part two, you have to see that one right after this because it's the day um, right after I installed her sister locks. And she's got 500 plus sister locks. And I'm going to show you how I dry condition brand spanking new locks. Regardless of whether they're sister locks or traditional locks, this is what I do for everybody. So um, contrary to popular belief, uh, you can condition your hair, uh, but the way that I do it is very, very effective for keeping the hair very soft, um, very soft to the touch, uh, smelling real nice, and just keep it in the hair in a, in a conditioned state while you're going through the locking process. So make sure you check out video two as well, but here's Tina. Hey guys, this is my good uh, good friend Tina, um, and she's in high hair. And she's inquiring about the uh, the sister lock. She's on a consultation right now. And so, uh, Tina, just kind of tell us where you are in your journey and why you wanted to get these sister locks. Well, right now I'm looking for something natural, healthy, that I can, you know, maintain myself. I've been getting perms and colors for years and, you know, just kind of got tired of that, the hair breakage and the reperming every six to eight weeks. So, um, for the last, i say, eight, nine months, I went through this phase where I cut off my hair and just started to let my hair grow naturally. Okay, how did you find out about Sister Locks? Um, actually, I just did some research. I went online, just pulled up natural hairstyles and just tried to find some other avenues to something new that I can do with my hair. Right, okay. And I came upon um, the Sister Locks. All right, very good. So now, how, now, is that your hair or is that a wig? This is a wig. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my hair. Yes. It's a wig. My hair is actually braided. Um, underneath. Okay, so how long have you been growing out your hair? Um, I say since about December last year, 2010. So it's been right, about, so about eight, nine, eight, months. Eight, nine months. Eight, very, nine very months. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, we're, now what the, Tina's going to, she has agreed to take the wig off and expose what's underneath. So can we do that now? Be sure I can. All right, thank you, girlfriend. You ready? Go ahead. All right. Wow. <laughs> All right, put your head down for me. She has cornrows, y'all. Let me, let me twirl her around. And actually, what I just did was um, took out one of the rows, and we put one of her put a test lock in. So here it is, right here. And let me tell you something. I'm gonna come in close on that. So there's her test lock, and we're just, I just did one because I've been doing this long enough. I know what pattern I'm gonna use, um, you know, and, and all of that. So we just did one that's so uh, more for her benefit, so she could play around with it and show it off until we actually do her installation. But we're gonna follow her. Um, you know, her installation and all of that um, when she comes back to get them done in a couple of weeks. But yeah, she has a very nice hairline too, uh, good density, very healthy hair. I was very impressed uh, when, uh, when she took her wig off because usually I'm surprised uh, people have a lot of things going on underneath the wig. But uh, you've been, you know, maintaining your hair. How have you been maintaining it? How, how often do you shampoo and what do you use? Well, and... normally what I do is because I work out like mm -hmm. every other day or two after I come out. Just kind of like go in the shower, put my head back, put a little shampoo, just kind of rinse out the sweat mm -hmm. and, you know, the smell a little bit. Right. And, you know, put my cap back on and put my hair back on. All right, on go ahead and put your hair back on, girl. We want to see how you do that. Let's see how I put my hair on. <laughs> a little embarrassing, but that's okay. You need the mirror or you're going to be okay? Let me see. I think she's got this side. without the mirror. Wow. You only so gonna see the stuff I, here. So uh, this is what I do every day. You know, it gets a little hot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I get home from work or finish exercising and stuff, I just kinda go in and just, you know, yeah, well, pull look. it off. Uh huh. Look. Kind of look Phyllis when I'm Good, it looks good, girlfriend. Okay. Now I just kinda pull it <laughs> off and I put it back on. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. All right, so um are you excited about getting your sister? Yes, out? I'm very excited. Okay, very what excited. what excites you about them? Um, just something new, mm -hmm. a new process, something more healthier. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about, you know, damaging my hair anymore. So I'm just, I'm just really excited about the new process. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to like it. I, I, think, I'm gonna, I, I think I'm going to look good. Yeah. Uh, there wait. you go. Okay. Good, I can't good. wait. As Phyllis say, sexy. Yes. <laughs> 
All right, Tina, look, very nice meeting you, and we're going to um, continue this in part two with your installation. All right, All right see girlfriend. you later. Bye bye. Okay, wasn't that fantastic? All right, and uh, like I said, Tina is a very sweet spirit, and I know she made you smile. And um, let's see part two.